Welcome back to that same old do 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 do. What's up, man? Today, I've got a ring light in my eyes. Where's the camera? Here. And I think I'm going to buy a bicycle. I've had a thought in my mind last night. Today, I'm gonna make it happen. Yeah, man, so I just picked up a bike. I'm somewhere on Beverly Boulevard. This little bike shop called um, I Martin Bicycles behind me. The only reason I picked it is this little tan building right there. The only reason I picked it, no big deal. It was the only one that was open. And I wanted a bike today. I'm an impulse guy and I wanted one right now. And so I got it. Now I'm gonna cruise home to try to remember how the hell to get there. Made it home alive on the new bike of death. There it is. Ran pretty good, but it's only got one. There's no gears, so it's uh, not an easy rider. But man, it feels good. Got a lot of exercise. I'm like breathing heavy, but check it out. Fits right in, man. Boom. Yeah, so mission accomplished. I got the bike. I woke up today wanting a bike. I had a bike before, but I was, uh, I was doing it the wrong way. I was trying to ride it like on the streets of Hollywood, on Sunset Boulevard, go in and out of cars. I was uh, getting honked at by people. People were getting pissed off. And in LA, the drivers, if you're on a bike, they'll actually push you off the street. They'll get beside you and then start to kind of push you off the street. It's crazy, but I got it now. Now it's just a cruiser, you know, back streets, sidewalks, just to go get a cup of coffee. It's going to be a killer way to get outside without having to commit to, you know, dinners or parties or whatever. I can just say, I need some sun. I want to go outside, jump on the bike, you know, I'm back in two hours. 
cardio for the day is done. I've seen, I saw so many things on the way home. I was going to record them, but I didn't because, uh, to tell you the truth, when I was filming those purple flowers, I almost crashed the bike twice. So I'm going to have to get a GoPro or something if I want to do that. But, um, yeah, man. But I saw so many things that I would normally never see. I saw kids on the street smoking pot as I went by, a couple homeless people, then a dog, and just all kinds of, you hear little conversations, you see people hanging out. It's a whole different world on a bike, man. So stay tuned for the bike adventures. Maybe I'll rig up a system to where I can uh, film actually on the bike. <laughs> and then you're going to really see what goes on in this neighborhood. And that's really it for the day, man. I had a long and a great day. I had so, uh, uh, someone spent the night with me last night. We woke up. I was up six hours. I was up at six. She woke up at like 11. So... Uh, but I had a big productive morning. I went to the gym around uh, um, 3, did deadlifts, had an epic workout, and I figured out the secret to an amazing workout is to take edibles about 30 minutes before I go, then, then the pre-workout right before I go. For some reason, when I was in the gym, I was in this amazing state of just like beautifulness, and every, I was smiling at people. I was lifting the weights, and instead of like throwing the weights around, I was really just squeezing things and making sure to get a full range of motion. And I got home, I was like, why was that workout so great? And then I realized, oh, I'm high. Like, <laughs> that's exactly why. But it puts you in a, a different mindset to where, like I said, I was just in a generally, generally good mood. And instead of trying to just throw weights around, I was listening to a Spotify pop station, which I normally never listen to. And I was just, I had the most like uh, focused, and nice workout that I've had in a long time. And it was interesting, really cool. So I'm gonna try that from now on. It's actually something I stole from a guy named Kane Sumabot, Sumab, Samabot, something like that, Sumabot. He goes by Timbo, Timberwolf on Instagram. Ripped dude, 49 years old, suffers from a lot of depression, he has back problems, but he eats edibles before he goes to the gym and has these amazing workouts. So I think I subliminally lifted that from him, so if you wanna check him out, I'll put him in the, in the description, or someone else put him in the description. You know who I'm talking about. Half of you guys and girls, I've talked about him many, many times. Uh, Kane Samabot, Instagram slash Timberwolf, or Timbo Wolf, something like that. Hopefully someone will post that in the comments, or I'll put it in the description, because he is a unique, I love the guy, because he's not a boring, generic copy of every other Instagram fitness person there is. He's not like posting his abs with, you know, bullshit. He's post his body, he's ripped as hell, but he wears bird masks. They smoke a lot of pot. He paints pictures. He watches porn on his Instagram. He paints paintings. He's an amazingly talented dude, but he has said many, many times, and I think there's a thread that I always feel when I find someone unique, I'm kind of suspicious. I'm like, I wonder if they're having a hard time with something you can kind of just see it in their in their in their posts and hear it in their videos and it's like oh yeah he's suffering and then he started finally sharing that sure enough he battles with de uh, depression and suicidal thoughts almost every day and uh, it's really unique so check him out he's another good unique guy and I'll keep sharing people with you that I find because just like you found me, I'm out here looking for people to watch too, like unique individuals. I do not want to see another khaki pants and button up shirt guy with a pointer on a whiteboard going, today's tips and stay tuned, bear with me, we're having fun. I got a bike and you're gonna see a lot of footage outside. So that's it, everybody have a great day. As always, I will see you in the future. <laughs>